All right, hello YouTube. This is Jobby Bro making a video on Scion TC fog lights. I just got this in the mail yesterday. All right, this is what you should have received in the mail. I got your fog lamps, um, brackets. I already installed one of them. As you can see, I have the wiring for the switch. So this is all you're gonna need. And now I took off my bumper. This is um, how you're gonna remove the bumper. It's pretty easy. There are 10, 10 millimeter screws on the bottom, as you can see. And there are about two on the side. One that goes here, and the other one on top. For this one, you're gonna have to get into the cover it out and same on the other side and on the top you have two clips here one in the middle and two on the side and after that go ahead and start popping it from the side grab one on the side it should clip right in here you just gotta grab it don't pull it just try to Losing it, and then it should pop, pop out. Do it all the way around. All right, to snap the lights in, we have to put once uh, slide the uh, fog lamps in, and then use the bracket on the back to hold it in its place. Use the two screws. And it should go right in. And it shouldn't be any problem. Do the same for the other side. screws put one right there don't tighten them at the same uh, same time uh, tighten one of them I uh, suggest so do it this side first because there's a gap in there and they should pull once you put the screws in it should pull the light back You should test your lights before installing the wires, just to make sure they run fine. Yeah, just a reminder, when you're testing your lights, do not snap anything. These are all just temporary hookups, because uh, you want to remove everything to install the wires all right to install the wires I remove the intake system out um, it's kind of in, in the way to otherwise you're gonna cut yourself getting into the wire to get the wires in so I found all the wires a path where Pull that out, and we're gonna run our 
switch the plug and then switch wire in there through that and get it inside. This is going to be a bit work. It's really hard to get in there because there's very limited space in there. So I just installed the switch for the fog lamps. Um, just pop this bottom up and then use this to pull the switch. And if you look underneath, right, you see that right there? That's what I pulled the wires through. I recommend use pulling the wire from the outside first. Um, that's what I did, so I could have some wire hanging right there. Um, that's totally up to you. Uh, I think it's a little bit more work if you do it from the inside out. But that is totally up to you, uh, however you want to do it. And, and then just pull the wire enough. If you do it from outside, just pull the wire enough so it reaches the front. And then up the switch and then I'll show you the rest. Alright so I put the fuse right there. I used that and then your screw it's, uh, used for the the break hole. I just used that to put my fuse in that's holding in place and power wire on the switch was not long enough so I have to put a connector in make it long enough and, and I'm taking all the wires through there on my fog lights I come down here and then goes from the back and then over there and All right, for the ground, the wire is not long enough. So there's two things you can do. You can remove the paint, uh, get the metal out, and then put it right there, screw it down. But you're going to have to get a clean ground, all right? So you're going to have to sand down the paint. But I, I, I think I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut this off, extend the wire, take it to the battery terminal, hook it up in here instead of hooking up my car. And this is... Alright, so this red one with the fuse box on it is the power wire that goes to your battery terminal. So you got to hook it up already. And the black one is the ground wire, but I extended it because it was short, and it's all the way up there in the ground terminal. So this one right here is the power wire that's coming off of the switch. See that red one right there? That one that's coming off of the switch. right here and this one goes to your one of the high low beam light and I use that red clip that came with the box to connect to one of the high and low beam uh, ball wire light uh, wire so I will show you when I do that all right so I installed everything all the wire it is working so, like I said, follow, just find a nice place for this, uh, if, if you don't want it here, put it somewhere else, uh, now I'm just going to uh, tie it up all these extra wires, uh, I used the headlight power wire to connect the Connect the red wire that's coming off of the switch, so that one controls the switch. If I turn it off, it'll turn off if I want it. Um, 
or otherwise you just keep it on. Uh, the switch is fucked up. It doesn't even turn on. But for some reason the light will turn on. I didn't take the plastic off of the cover is because I didn't want to get I didn't want to get that dirty because of dirty hands. So at the end I will remove the plastic. So now let's put the bumper back on and see how it is. Alright, here's the end result. I'll put the bumper back on. The bottle lamp looks good. If you have any questions, just comment below. Thanks for watching.